welcome to my channel, Amy Makes That. Today's tutorial, I'm spilling seven Cricut hacks that I've learned over the years as a crafter that you will need to know and be thanking me. So I've actually mentioned a few of these tips in a handful of my videos, but I wanted to make one big separate video because it's just gonna be easier for you instead of having to look through all of my videos to find that one hack that I told you. If you love the Cricut craft tutorials and Cricut business tips, then I'd so greatly appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and also follow me on all of my social media platforms, including my website where there's a bunch of free resources for everyone. So let's not waste time and get into the tutorial. The first Cricut hack is how to remove vinyl or any material from the Cricut mat. This was something I learned the hard way and I think it's necessary to share with y'all. The Cricut is currently cutting the material and then once it's done, you're going to flip over your mat. Now this means when the Cricut is done cutting, press the arrow button to release the mat from the Cricut. Take it and then flip it over in order to remove your material. Fold over your mat slightly, and it's okay to do this, it won't stay like that, and then remove the material. This will keep the design intact and not warp the vinyl. In one of my first YouTube videos, I didn't do this, and look at how much the paper folded over. People were yelling at me in the comments, and I literally had to press it down with my hydro flask. I did a comparison again to show you the difference side by side, and oh god, this just looks awful. And you also can't see this, but by not flipping over your mat, it can add bubbles into your design and completely ruin the project, especially with bigger designs like when I made my doormats. But as you can see, flipping over the mat will not ruin your mat and keep the design flat. Like, look at this difference. So trust me on this one, I wish I was taught this as a beginner. The next tip is about weeding your letters with vinyl. Now, what I mean by weeding the inside first is I always, always, always weed the inside of the letters like O's, A's, G's, anything that has a space, and I'll show you why. If I don't do this and remove the background first, it's still pretty easy to weed and doesn't pick up any letters, but you'll see that this is more difficult to remove those inside parts, and you'll see better when I get to the E, but sometimes the vinyl gets stuck on the actual letter, and when I try to remove that inside part, it will take the whole letter with it and ruin the design. You can try and be super careful with this, but Time and time again, I just found that weeding the inside parts first avoided all of these problems. Like, look at this. Oh, it doesn't even say pumpkin season anymore. Here's the better way to weed, which is by removing those inside parts first. So for this design, I had to do it for the letters P, E, A, O, and M because of the font. So I'm finishing this up and then I can remove the background. I did have to cut it off because my camera got blurry at this part, of course, but the right is the weeding the inside parts first of the letters and the left is removing them first and you can definitely tell which one's which. Let me know if you've tried this hack in the comment section. The next hack is my not so secret tool that I use in every YouTube video, which is the brayer tool. Over time, your mat will become less sticky and sometimes pressing it down with your hands is just not enough. I bought the brayer tool from Cricut and it has made such a difference, especially with cutting my designs too. When the material is firmly adhered into the mat, the Cricut can cut the design better, so if you're struggling with this issue, it may be time to get the brayer tool. This transfer tape hack is so useful and it is all about how you adhere the vinyl to it. I'm adhering the transfer tape to both of these vinyl labels and then scraping it down with my scraper tool so the vinyl is able to stick to the transfer tape. Now sometimes, no matter how much we scrape, the vinyl just doesn't want to adhere. If you remove the transfer tape like this from the top, it's going to be more difficult for it to actually stick to it. Instead, you want to flip over the design with the transfer tape on it still, and then remove the back ring. While you do this though, press it down into the transfer tape. Do not pull like I did before. So this will actually allow the vinyl to adhere to the transfer tape, and it's ready to be transferred onto your project. The next tip is something I discovered one day, and it is how to cut multiple colors on one mat. This example shows that there are three color layers. Now, of course, you could make this a print and cut project and keep it one layer, but I have a lot of red, blue, and black vinyl, so I didn't mind having to layer the design. When you click make it, the Cricut will automatically split up each color into three different mats, as you can see here. This project is also very small, so I didn't want to make the Cricut do three passes. I'd rather just put all these color layers onto one mat so I don't have to keep loading and unloading the Cricut with different colors. 
it makes your life much easier. In order to move the other two designs to one mat, you will click on the mat and the design that you want to move. You'll see these three small dots on the top left corner of the design. Click that and then click move object. I'll then ask you which mat you want to move to, so select it and then click continue. It will change the color so remember what color it was and then I like to adjust the placement on the mat so they're far away from one another. Then you will repeat the same exact process for the other layer. So click on the mat, select the three dots, move object, select the mat, and then press continue. Then you can move the design to wherever you want it on the mat. I zoomed out to make note of where each vinyl is going to start and end. The sunnies will end at 3 inches, the merica will start around 4 inches and end at 8 inches, and then the star shades will start at 9 inches and end at 11. To measure the vinyl, I place the protective sheet over the mat. I will usually measure it with the roll. So the red vinyl starts at 4 inches and ends at 8 inches. I'll take the roll and use my scissors to make a little mark on each side. Then I'll either use my paper cutter or scissors to cut it. Then I'll place it on the mat and I'll do the same exact thing for the blue. I then took everything off and flipped it to the side so you can see a bit better and pressed the vinyls onto the mat. Insert the mat into the Cricut and let it cut the designs all in one pass. It may seem like a little more work in the beginning, but especially if you have a lot of designs to be made, keeping them all on one mat just makes your life easier. On to the next Cricut hack, and this is the Snap Mat feature. This can be done on the Cricut Design Space app with your tablet or phone. So you do the opposite of what I did on the previous tip. You'd place the vinyl down first on the mat and then take a picture of it by pressing the snap mat button. Then the Cricut will save that picture. Tap the use button on the top right and it'll show your design on the next page. Then you can drag it anywhere on top of the vinyl and then you'll click next to cut it. And if you need more help using the iPad with the Cricut Design Space app, you can watch my latest video on that tutorial. The last hack is one of my favorites when making bigger design projects and it's using painter's tape. Tape your design with the backing and transfer tape on your base material. Fold down the top half and remove the backing. Then you can adhere that to the acrylic without it moving and the design will be straight. Repeat the same process for the bottom half and remove the rest of the transfer tape. And that concludes the 7 Cricut hacks for this video. Let's close it out. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something useful and let me know what your favorite hack was. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do because I post new videos every single Monday and post a lot of content on my other social media platforms. So make sure you subscribe. Thank you as always for watching and supporting me. I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Keep holding me down, keep holding